That's sad. I like she just took over. Grace. Grace. I love how she's in a freaking ammo crate. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. Later tonight, we interview Lady Helene herself about the upcoming movie, the most expensive in cinematic history, chronicling the hunt and capture of terror villains. We will ask director Lady Helene the most pressing question of all. Who will play Terror Billy? Can any actor truly channel the pure evil of one of history's greatest mass murderers? The helm. Five minutes. My brothers and sisters. For the longest time I've been hearing through the grapevine about this resistance. Leader. Trying to calibrate the fucker. Mm -hmm. Horton. Horton and his crew are holed up in the New Orleans ghetto. Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the U.S. So, Blazkowicz, I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. The Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. That's terrifying. Blaskowitz, I need you to make it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Got it. Oh, fuck you, crocodile. Hey, Blasco. No seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out. Yeah, fuck you, crocodile. Is that screaming I'm hearing? I'm terrified that crocodile can like follow me or some shit. There would be two officers.
Where are you? Oh god Yeah, he's definitely above. Yeah, give me your Manga card, Enigma card, dickhead. Did you see him talking about purging people? How in theory it's fun, but it's actually tedious hard work. What the fuck? It wasn't letting me shoot. Hey, you dickhead. There we go. Not sure how my armor regenerates, but I'll take it. Up there. It is up here. Hmm.
I don't know. Whatever. Blaskowitz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days? Oh, yeah. Are they not fighting? Let's go swim. Let's save just to just to be safe. Eat a... Oh, my shotgun. Oh! Hello! What was that noise? Let me in. Apparently you could shoot the cars, I guess. Great Wall of New Orleans finished. Fucked up, guys. Civilian. Easy. Can't undo your tragedy, but I can punish the people responsible. Here we go. I ain't afraid of you pussies. Nope. Looks like I got a shortcut through this building. Oh, 
Right there. Okay. Another upgrade, yes. There's someone literally right above me. So real fast. Hold on, fuck it. How do I get up? Oh. The stair. Super satisfying. Let me tell you, there's something about just rushing in blindly and going right for the officers. Get the get 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 out! Ah ha ha! Ah! Alright, well I know where I need to go. No need, darling. You dick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I need to, yeah, I do need to charge it a little bit. get to the crane. William, we are moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? I don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, you know, excited. <clears throat> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. 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 Like sauce. Ah! <laughs> it's fantastic. I was going to say, do I go up? The answer is no. Let's 
save. I'm sure it's been saving for me, but I just, you know, I want to be safe. Hi. Any more shotgun ammo? There we go. That's not going to work. What is up here? I don't know if that's where I want to go. The answer is yes. That's where I want to go. Okay. Stairs, guys, are really tough. Oh, fuck you, dog. Not that one. What does this do? There's a ginormous puppy. That fire is so hot. Oh my god. Give me the armor. Alright, we're kind of back in business now. Give me a not what I wanted at all. Got like no ammo for this fucking thing. Oh. Alright. 
Oh. Sounds like someone is putting up a fight. Sorry, friend. Let's save because we killed that stupid dog. Where's this big fucking tower I'm trying to get to anyway? Oh god, it hurts. Oh no! Forgot the cars explode. All right, all right, all right, all Do one of those. Ah, you Jack, both you. Oh god. Were you like hoping I wouldn't see you or something? What was that? Who the Yep, hold on. Just like to make sure that I am completely set. up off the streets. Name's Hort. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? Not recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts? Apart from saving our sorry ass. I'm with the Chrysal Circle. We're starting a revolution. Are you now? Well, this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcast, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. Paris Jack is a rock cutter, a true believing anarchist. A hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes. Streets are quiet. Now that's the like her. She got them eyes can see a speck of dirt in the cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty some bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! We got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We can always use more good people. How you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kinda told St. Pete to go fuck himself. <laughs> Class L circle, walking lit. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. You mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. 
You know, my ma always said, never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, baby, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton Speck. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so young. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terry Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street who was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It weren't their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they was watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit. Decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Drops your kind and gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, hog, and lead right through. This'll get you drunk, there, Billy. You upstanding like you the establishment chief. Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't wanna argue with you, Terry Billy. Too tired of fight. You tired. Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? <laughs> oh Lord, I ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot over holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Paris been working on this fucking for over a month now. Let's I'll fucking do it. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pour some wines, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir. You're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire while we make what? our way down to the harbor all with right. all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now. Easy. There you go. Just mind the temper. Look, you better get up here. The Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get! Yeah. He's right in there, that fucking officer.
Yeah, whatever. Let's get these fuckers! Fucking eat a dick. This dog is fantastic. Right through here, boys. Fuck you. That thing was actually really easy. Let's get some of this armor. Let's go! This is the fucking best part of the game so far! You stupid, fast fucking pieces of shit. Woo! I gotta give it my dog? How do I get off? What do I do? How do I get off? Guys, okay, I'm gonna need to do a quick search. I don't know how to get off. I pushed every button that I normally push. How to dis now, dog Wolfenstein two. Control. That's it. Right, real quick before I drop down that hole. Okay.
<laughs> More gold. Shit. Oh well. I meant to just throw it, but I pushed both buttons, so. What was that? Exit level. Okay. That was easy. On you. Come in on you. Do you read? William, they read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in. And we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Hang out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Kill. Next stop, Lakeview District. Oh, fuck you. Step one is to get rid of that fucking thing. Oh, fucking Christ. Still did too long. I got their attention for approximately 2.4 seconds. Next stop, Lakeview District. Just gonna do this. Okay. To rockets. <laughs> Blood go! Bob down by Nazis here! Boss us top side of the Get on ya! What's the name of this fucking place? We're on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. Think we can hold out for a wee bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea. Terror Village, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, Irene, sorry, it's being held up. Working to resolve the problem. Ugh. More sewers. You know what's in here? Fuck crocodiles. Fucking crocodiles. I just know one's gonna pop out and fucking get me. Fucking knew it. This goddamn game. 
are going down! We're going down fighting! Grace! We need evacuation now! mind you, but you're the most lovable conrag I've ever laid eyes on. Fergus, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building and climb on board the U-boat. We spotted the outsmerger on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass! Let's make it all that noise. Right, so, something here is shooting at me. Good. Do I see it like stay still? I don't know what's shooting at me. So that's all good. Wait. Holy God. Ah! There you are, you stupid fucker. Where do I go? Ah! Get the fuck! God, that scares me every fucking time, those stupid dogs. Reach the rooftop, okay. Blaskowitz, all of the evacuees are oh, no. aboard, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded, and the outsmercer is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. You... Get the fuck out of here. Busy collecting ammo here, dickhead. Okay. Uh-oh. There's the thing. The bad thing with the bad people. You have to fire now, Blasters. Now! No busy. Closed door. Holy shit. Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Frying with commands now. Using the Tom Terrace. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. 
we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Ice Mercer swoop in, put an end to it, fight to say hell. <coughs> we gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Ice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack, conquer the Ice Mercer, and use it against the Nazis. You know, the Ice Mercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but. That kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. <laughs> Except for the fact that the Oberkommando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Oberkommando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So. They moved the Oberkommando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah. Not with that attitude. Except awesome. maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Eagles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. Papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. Oh, look. Like a walrus. <laughs> Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor. Traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, on my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. So now we're on fucking Venus? Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Got Your it. script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Need the pretend acting for those so inclined. You're right. on the short list for this? Nah, man. Casting director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had the right face. This is exciting, man. Venus and all. Yeah, that's no, a little mm. weird, though. No. Why Venus? What's wrong with LA? Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. If you liked it, toss that like button down below, smash it up, and subscribe if you if you liked it even more. And if not, let me know why you didn't like it. You know, you say you're you're ugly or you're mean or something, and I will work on it. But uh, yeah, appreciate you watching. Catch you next time.